Hello guys, what is up? It's Mace. Welcome back to Blazer Glaze. So if you have not seen my last video, Wednesday's video, you would not know, but we are off thrifting in the OC. We are out of LA. I will leave Wednesday's video linked down below this so you can see the first thrift store we hit, which was St. Vincent de Paul. Sorry if it's a little loud, like we have the window down, you know, we're just living, thriving, breathing, hopefully not dying. We're on our way to two Goodwills. I'm really excited because the Goodwills in LA, honestly, it kind of suck. Like I really am not a big fan. So I have high, high hopes for the OC Goodwills. I've heard that the OC Goodwills are fantastic. They are fabulous. They are amazing. So. If you are ready for some bomb ass thrift finds, hit subscribe down below because I'm just like having a premonition that we are gonna get our hands on some. But we are off, it's about 20-ish minutes away from the first stop of the day. Shimmies for the goodwill, shimmies for the goodwill. Honey, give me a shimmy for the goodwill. We here. So since in the last store that we went to, Wednesday's video, I found a ton of accessories. I found shoes and I found belts and I found a bag and I found la blazer. I'm really on the hunt for some pants. Obviously still gonna look through the blazers and the coats. I would really like to find some jewelry. Who even knows? It shall be it a surprise. Like it smells like pee. Wee wee wee. 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 Tyler and I are learning French, so, you know. Oh, it does smell like pee. I wonder if someone's like low-key like peeing while they're waiting in the parking lot. I'm ready to go. 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 Let's go. Oh my gosh, there were a ton of people waiting outside of the entrance. This must be good. There's an entire Halloween section upon walking in and lots of color coordination. First thing I found is a belt, even though I just bought multiple belts in the last video. <laughs> Okay, I found two blazers while going through this whole aisle. Now, I'm gonna check out the pants. Maybe these. So I found black Levi's. I don't know if they'll fit, but we can try them. I don't have any black jeans, actually. Okay, this is like a kind of high-waisted Liz Claiborne pair. I don't know, we'll see. More high waisted black denim. I really want baggy ones like these. <laughs> I'm just in a dancing mood. <gasps> I have been looking for the perfect pair of trousers, and this might be them if they're not too big. But they look like they could. Just right. Oh my gosh. Look at all of these like vintage trunks. Like to travel in style. I'm not too into mini backpacks, but I really like this one because it's black with like gold hardware and also like a tortoise shell hardware. How much is this? Oh, 20 bucks. 20 bucks my asshole. This is cute. I'm actually gonna suss through the Halloween department because I feel like there might be some really good dresses and some really good jackets. I feel like a lot of the leather might be hidden in the Halloween section. Am I right? There is a full white suit, which is amazing. Definitely check the Halloween section at your thrift stores because they have some of the gems like deeply hidden, like this top. That's hella cute, the ruching, we love it. You truly never know, like a gorilla suit could be what is standing between you and the find of a lifetime. This, guys, this is amazing. I mean, there's not much else for me to say except the beating on some of these is exquisite. And the vintage tags are also exquisite, we love. This is definitely like the section for witchy vibes. Oh my god, this dress is like a little 2000 supermodel dream. Look at the neckline, look at the little crystals. This one's only $12.99, I might have to try it on. Madonna vibes, anyone? Gorgeous is this slip dress. It's not my size, but I'm picking it up for my next closet sale because one of you beautiful ass queens is to put your beautiful ass in this and shimmy around. Look at this black gown. It is such a beautiful lingerie gown. I just made that up. I don't even know if it's such a beautiful lingerie gown. Guys, welcome to the motherfucking jungle. Look at this section. So I filled up quite good in the Halloween department. Now I've gotta find the fitting room. 
kind of like this one. I like this, it has shoulder pads in it and I didn't even see that. Okay, first things first, I am so damn impressed by this place. The selection is grand, the people are lovely. The store itself is clean, clean as a whistle. Is that, is that a thing people say? And the dressing room, I mean, don't dare me. Okay, let's get to trying things on. I did find a leather skirt, which was something I was Does this fit slash will I wear it? I really like the idea of a leather skirt. It's a little big, but I really like it. To go with those tall boots that I got at the last store. Ooh, maybe. Too tight. <gasps> These jeans might fit. These are the Liz Claiborne jeans. Cute booty. Beautiful as queens. I feel very babysitter's club in these pants. Like, babysitter's club. Cause you know that your friends are always there. Babysitter's club. These are the jeans. These are high-waisted black jeans. They fit really, really well. They're like a really good high waist with a belt. These will be a move. And bam, the perfect pair of trousers that I've been looking for. This place is the fucking best. So this was a fantastic situation. Time to head out. It got so sunny while we were inside. This Goodwill is the shit. I know, I said we were going to two, but I think we're gonna have to save that second location for the next time, because I actually found every single thing on my thrift list today, which I'm so excited about. And I'm gonna head home and haul it all. Hello guys, so I am back from the thrift store. It's been a couple of days and I'm in another one of my fabulous thrifted robes. I'm telling you guys, go through the robes at the thrift store. You will have yourself feeling like Freddie Mercury, Rami Malek, and Bohemian Rhapsody, walking down the halls of your mansion, your apartment, your house, cottage, dorm room, wherever you may dwell, feeling like a damn queen. The second I saw that movie, it inspired me to wear nothing around the house but robes. I picked up like seven or eight pieces of that Goodwill and I am so excited. I found so many of the fall trends that I have told you guys about probably a million times now. We're probably all sick of hearing the word fall and the word trend but here we are more fall trends I found most of them actually in the Halloween section in the Halloween department and yes you guys know the drill here on blazed and glazed we do not just do normal hauls we do not even just do normal try on hauls we do thrift fashion show extravaganzas and I style up the pieces for you guys so you can get an idea of how to style a certain piece if you go out to your thrift store this weekend and find your own let's fucking go First up, I am sporting the leather on leather trend, which I feel like I have been talking about endlessly to you guys in these fall fashion videos, but the leather on leather trend is huge. It makes me feel in charge, it makes me feel badass, it makes me feel empowered, and it makes me feel cool as shit, honestly. So, the thrifted item, besides like everything in this outfit, is this leather kind of midi skirt. I have been really after leather, 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 leather. Bottoms lately, it's so much easier to find leather jackets than leather tops, so this is my more like corporate, but like makey, cool situation. I know this probably isn't something a lot of people could wear to their office job if they have like a serious, a super serious office job, but I do know some of my girlfriends that work in more creative industries have a little bit more leeway when it comes to the dress code. To me, this is a way to do the leather on leather trend that's like a little less intimidating than like a leather jacket, leather pants, leather belt, leather boots situation. So I have on the skirt with some pointy toe white slingback kitten heels and then this white menswear shirt just because I really like if I'm wearing a skirt, I'm not a super girly girly dresser, so when I'm wearing a skirt, I like to kind of make it a little more masculine, a little bit more hard, if you will. So I have on this like menswear shirt that I have tucked into it with this thrifted vest that I've shown you guys quite a few times now because I feel like it is so versatile. If you're not into the vest per se, my idea was that you could kind of wear this to work during the day. Um, and I feel like in a lot of office jobs you could wear this to work during the day because the skirt is long, but it's leather, so it's kind of bringing a little bit more fashion to the table, if you will. And then you can throw this bad boy over it to like go out to happy hour after, go to dinner with your gals, bada bing, bada bang. You look cool as hell. You're hitting the fall trends right on the damn noggin and the store H2T. Um, I love it. Continuing on with the leather is this jacket. You guys saw me try this on in the video with this belt actually. Both of these things I picked up in this Goodwill trip. Um, and when I tried this jacket on, it didn't have a lot of shape to it. And then when I threw this belt over it in the mirror by the fitting room, I was like, oh, 
Oh, who, who, who is she? I don't know, but I love her. And automatically I knew I wanted to do like a bad ass Charlie's Angels, Demi Moore and Charlie's Angels 2 kind of situation, kind of vibe, just evoking. I am a hot ass bitch. I am here to slay. So what I did is I'm using this leather jacket kind of as a top because it's not quite long enough to be a trench, but it's also not quite short enough to be like a moto jacket. So I'm kind of using it as like a leather blazer situation with no top underneath. If you're not comfortable with that, you can totally put a little cami, a little bodysuit, a little lacy situation underneath. Um, and then I have it cinched with this. We all kind of have these like things that we're insecure about when it comes to our body and showcasing certain things. I try to never let that stand in the way of me wearing whatever the hell I want. And I just want you guys to remember that the little flaws you think you have are what make you beautiful they're what make you you they're what make you amazing so don't be afraid to experiment a little and for me that's my knees I've always had like a weird thing with my knees so for this outfit I'm showcasing my knees and I have on these boots that I showed you guys in Wednesday's video that I thrifted in Long Beach with these black thrifted high-waisted shorts for a full black badass biatch Charlie's Angels we're taking care of whatever situation comes our way and we're slaying because we're queens and we're fabulous and we get shit done in an all-black vibe you're fabulous I just had to remind you of that next thing <sighs> guys that outfit was so sweaty I'm gonna be a tomato for the rest of the video <laughs> Okay, next up is a much more casual ensemble. Um, I wanted to give you guys kind of an idea of a very typical Macy, very typical Blazed and Glaze OOTD. And the item that I picked up at this Goodwill is this blazer. I think you guys saw me try this on and it's really just kind of a basic cream colored blazer. I didn't really have any of this color, more like beige I would say. And I actually just have it on with my favorite jeans that you guys see all the time, the really baggy ones. And my Carrie Bradshaw naked dress that I have tucked in because Honestly, I much prefer a tucked in slip dress moment to a bodysuit, throw this on over it, and then I would just do these square toed boots that I showed you guys in Wednesday's video. And this would be a very typical Macy outfit of the day. We came to slay, we're not here to play. So this is my favorite outfit of the video and favorite item of the entire haul, these pants. I could have literally just found these pants and these pants alone in this haul and I would be a happy ass bitch. I have been looking for a pair of like trouser, workwear pants for forever and finally found these babies at the thrift. They fit perfectly. I love the pleating in the front and I have this belt on that I showed you guys in Wednesday's video and I have them styled up with this corset top that I thrifted at St. Vincent de Paul a long ass time ago, like earlier in the summer and I have it on with the booties, the square toed booties. And this look in particular is a very like going out on the town, going to the disco, shimmying, shaking, getting down to the get down kind of outfit for me. I don't like to wear a lot of like tight dresses out or tight skirts out or things like that. I feel my like sexiest and most me when I'm in an outfit that mixes men's wear and women's wear. I mean, I think everything is everyone's wear. We should just really start calling it like everyone's wear. Everyone's wear. I like this. This is an everyone's wear ensemble. It's tighter on the top. It's a little bit looser on the bottom. Shimmy, shimmy. Yeah, every time I wear one of these, I feel like Madonna energy is coming out of my titties and Romy at the prom and Romy and Michelle's high school reunion is just like coursing through my veins. I don't think I've ever sweat more making a video in my life, guys. <laughs> Next up are these black jeans that you guys saw me pull out and then try on in the fitting room. I love them. I don't have any black jeans and now I do. And they are a little bit big, but thankfully I thrifted this nice little waist belt in Wednesday's video. And then I'm doing another slip dress tucked into the pants as a cami. Honestly, I like doing a slip dress tucked in more because I feel like when you have a cami, it like lays right here and I prefer it to be tucked in. And like I said, I'm not a big bodysuit gal. Honestly, just because I pee so damn much, like I'm always just like urination station. And bodysuits just like don't really permit for a lot of peeing. You, you guys know what I'm saying. So I have on this little looky looky right here. You can wear this to the club, you can wear this to the bar, you can wear this to the disco. But if you wanted to make it a little bit more appropriate, if you wanted to dress this up for the daytime and then maybe take it to nighttime later, I'm putting on this Dynasty-esque. I showed you guys this a couple of videos back. I got this on my Ohio thrift trip. And it is like an original Dynasty inspired suit dress type of situation, blazer dress, but works as a trench, works as a trench. Da -da 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 so what I did with the pants is, I don't know if you guys can see, but I actually double cuffed them at the bottom just to make them sit on top of the boots because I didn't really like the length that they were. So then cuffing them up kind of makes them look a little kind of like puffy and cool and like street style. This outfit definitely reminds me of something that I would probably wear in New York more than I would wear in LA. So throw it off and you're ready to dance. Last item. So last but certainly not least is this super soft, long sleeved 
tie-dye top. When I saw this, I could not not get it. Um, honestly, not when I saw it. When I saw it, I was just like, ugh, just another tie-dye number. But then I felt it and I was like, no, it is not. It is soft like motherfucking butter. And I love the idea of bringing tie-dye into fall. So I just have it on with these white shorts because it's LA and it's still hot as hell. And I also love the idea of tie-dye with a leather jacket. It just reminds me of like the 80s rockers. And I'm obsessed with that kind of vibe. And I just feel like this is a very easy running around outfit. If you're in a colder state, colder country, colder climate, you can just sub pants instead of shorts or you could do like a nice sheer black tight under the shorts. You could also do a tall boot with the shorts if you're feeling frisky, feeling sexy, feeling crazy. It's not that crazy, it's just shorts and a boot. And I have it tucked in right now for just a very cool effortless running around look. But if you wanted to kind of like make it a little more something something, I love how long and stretchy this guy is. So you can just kind of like do the little classic tie up moment right here and this is more you know just a little more something something going on this little puppy that i showed you guys in the vlog portion i had to pick it up because it's just so beautiful i love that it's not just leopard print that it has this kind of like paisley print on it as well and this was found in the halloween section so i'm telling you guys so was this so were both the leather pieces speaking of leather i gotta get that off i got this to sell to one of you beautiful ass queens in my next instagram story sale um speaking of that if you don't follow me on instagram already at my Lenny, i will link it down below i do a vintage thrifted clothing sale every couple of weeks on there with some of my best pieces or things that just like don't fit me quite right but i know you beautiful ass queens would love so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Hit subscribe down below if you're not already. I am so excited to start the Halloween videos next week. Do not forget that you are a beautiful ass queen for one damn second. I know on the weekends we have a lot of time to fester. We have a lot of time with our mind, with our emotions, with our feelings, with our anxiety. So don't let anyone, including yourself, make you feel like you are anything less than a beautiful ass queen. When I say it, I mean it. I love you guys. And I'll see you back here next week. Peace. Peace, love, and thrift.